thirsty night frost settled on the window frames. When it was time to leave the dinner party, we opened the front door and saw what probably could be described as the greatest scene of the week. The whole neighborhood was as under mist, as if someone had installed a thousand giant mist diffusers everywhere. All the shapes we used to know so well, the rooftops, the street signs, and even all the cars, were now swallowed by the cloudy smog. I posted a pic of it on my Instagram stories because why not, but the photos didn't really do it justice, as they rarely do. My friend who lives in a nearby block, quite high up, with a view over the city skyline, sent me a video on her road. The financial city has disappeared. I found it quite funny, but you really couldn't see it at all. The dissolved capital. And we both hoped it wasn't going to be there in the morning either. Our depictions created a 360-degree animation of it almost. But we didn't really know what to depict, since all there really was was just vapor and mist. Eventually I was able to fall asleep, and my dreams I was catching trains in the underground, and digging deeper into systems I couldn't map. And then I woke up to the same darkness, with marks on my palms from my clenching fists and my nails imprints. It was like a pattern of an eye or something. I looked into it and out of my palm a round sphere arose. It looked like a commercial center of some kind, a mall perhaps. And there was an entrance. Above it a sign. It read City City. Big cities are targets because people admire them, like a magnet to gravitate towards, for interaction. It's a push and pull that embodies those who inhibit it. Find a pulse through these nodes. With your headphones on, the speed becomes leveled and your own breath is concealed by the city's base. The city becomes your real-time music video. A one-liner and a million contradicting feelings at once. We all have a psychotic relationship to the cities we live in. Therefore, cities was built to encompass conflict like the eye of the storm. Outside of it, there was chaos, but within cities, there was a degree of tranquility, an aspect of perfection. A fairy tale with absent protagonist, just environment, painted brushed furniture, double exposure, so that all surface become chew, at least like a looking glass, a cubicle in someone's hand, just spin it between your fingers. There's this old saying. That once you reach cities, there's no need to return back. She's like a thinking machine, programmed to please your needs. She's like a custom-made divination, serving you all your prophecies in paper-wrapped lies. My back hurts. My neck has been hurting a lot. 
something also happened to time. Thousands of unfinished and ragged thoughts started swirling around. Words and images were pouring out of them like grains of sand, but as soon as I wanted to hold on to one, it was already too late. It was taking so long to make sense of it all. An hour or more had passed, and I was still trying to locate my phone to order an Uber and make it home, but it was an impossible mission. Nothing escapes and everything gets fixed.